friends, it's another day of baling hay. Sorry for the noise, but there's a road behind us, so you might hear some traffic. There's a little tiny field next to these barns that Farmer Bob is cutting, and then it will get raked in a few days, just like we saw yesterday. This is a really large barn. If it were a house, I would say it would be as tall as a four-story house. Can't really tell how tall it is from this angle, but it's super tall. In the bottom part of the barn where you see all of these windows is a milking room, a horse stall, and an area for livestock, which can be cows or sheep, to be safe. And then from here up is one big part where they store hay, hay bales, square bales. So this white door is opened and then you can put a hay elevator which is like a belt on a really tall machine and it just delivers hay up to the door and then the farmers can stack it. Or around the corner of the barn there's bigger doors where you can back up a hay wagon from the field and then load it, which is what they usually do. So this barn is probably 70 years old. There have been two other barns right in this spot that actually burned down. Hay is very dry and it would just be like, if it catches fire, it just burns so quickly. It would be like burning leaves. Very, very igniting. So I wanted to show you the hay before it's cut and then the hay after it's cut. I would say this hay goes up about three, three and a half feet. It looks like grass right now. And then it's going to turn into hay. There's Farmer Bob trying to get the outside of the hay cut. We'll watch him as he comes along so you guys can see what it looks like when the hay cutter goes over it. The hay cutter is a John Deere name brand. It's green. Remember from yesterday's videos, John Deere has all of its equipment with a very specific green and a very bright yellow. And that's their trademark color. He's on his international tractor again, which you've seen before in other videos. If you've watched the other videos, and it's an international name brand. This field is so small, it's kind of hard to maneuver a really big tractor and a hay cutter, but Bob, um, Farmer Bob is very experienced. So I think he's going to be able to maneuver these corners and get as much hay as possible, because that's the goal. We want to get as much hay as possible. Look at him going through that corner. Wow, here he comes. And you see he's wearing a hat to protect him from the sun. And he's wearing long sleeves and gloves to protect his arms and hands from the gloves. I'll stop talking so you can just hear the tractor and see it cut. It's windy out here. Sorry for all the noise. Oh, he's backing up into that corner so that he can get every single little speck of grass. See, cows and sheep and animals, we don't have any sheep right now, we have cows and goats, they need hay all through the winter because there's no grass seed, there's snow on the ground. So farmers worry about not having enough hay to get them through. So you have to be really careful and plan really well and try to get every bit of hay processed and stored for the winter as you can. It's a big deal. Okay, here he comes.
angle the tractor so he can get this really tough corner. Let's see how skilled he is by watching this. Right now, the hay cutter is lifted up, just kind of like when you lift a lawnmower up. And he's going to lower it back down. There he goes. Wow, he's getting that angle. Look at all that grass shooting out. getting that really close to the fence which takes a lot of skill and that's why when you start driving a car you got to really pay attention when you're taught how to drive. It takes skill and patience and practice to make those really tight turns and not damage your equipment. It's really good at it. grass. It smells like someone just mowed their lawn. It smells really nice. So it has to sit here and dry. Hopefully it won't rain for quite a few days. It has to sit and dry and then Farmer Daniel or Farmer Michael will probably rake it up to fluff it and get it from two piles into one like we saw yesterday and then they'll mow it. Or, I'm sorry, they'll bail it. They're mowing it now. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing hay be cut. And we might video again in a few days when this is baled so you can see it again. It might be square bales, which will be different than what we saw in previous videos of round bales. Have a good day, friends. Be safe and be kind.